Welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator 24. Nowadays I'm making a series of videos for the Enables Airbus A320 Neo and in this regard this is going to be another video in which I will tell you how to perform a hold. Actually I'm trying to break down all the information related to a flight for this plane into different videos so that it's easy for you to look for specific information on my channel. Uh, for all the videos that I've made for the Anybuilds Airbus A320 Neo for the Microsoft Flight Simulator 24, I have given the links in the description, uh, which you can just go and watch if you have missed any part. So uh, right now, I'm doing this short flight from Lahore to Islamabad. And uh, as I've told you before, I will tell you how to perform a hold. So you perform a hold if uh, uh, the altitude is really high. You really think that you won't be able to land at the plane or there is too much traffic or uh, the visibility is not good. I remember um, I, like a few months back during the monsoon season, it's very heavy rain in Istanbul. And um, I think my flight was delayed by almost one hour, uh, by one hour, and the plane was actually circling. And uh, once uh, the rain finished, then it landed. So even in that case, you can perform a hold. So in this video, I will um, just uh, predict a scenario that I have missed the top of descent and the altitude is really high. So look at uh, the approach plate. Let me just uh, get the information for Islamabad. I can get the charts for the approach. I will be landing at runway 28 right. So uh, this is the approach plate uh, for Islamabad. And at this point, Isdor. The altitude should be more than 6,000 feet. As you can see, there is a line under 6,000. So the altitude can be more than 6,000, but not less than 6,000. Over here, more than 5,000. Over here, more than 3,700. If you look at the flight plan, there is something really interesting also uh, appears. I think right now it will not appear. Yes, you can see uh, that uh, there, there are these stars with the constraints. This is the speed constraint and this is the altitude constraint. Uh, there is a star in the magenta color, which shows you that uh, if you start the descent at the given descent point, then the plane will be at the given altitude or the constraint by this point. But if it is not, then the color changes. So we will see if during the descent this thing happens because I'm going to delay the descent. Now the target altitude is 3,700. So once the plane is at 25,000 feet, I will set the altitude to 3,700, as you can see. Uh, this is the altitude at which I will be intercepting the glide slope. And uh, that's it. And another thing about the hold, let's uh, look at the procedure. Um, uh, you'll uh, be going in this uh, pattern and you will take a left turn. So your altitude will be uh, more than 6,000 and uh, less than 14,000. This is basically the ceiling uh, for this uh, holding pattern. So... I think altitude will be less than 14,000, but still uh, I can enter hold at this point. And uh, during the hold, I will try to, you know, descend to 6,000 feet because, you know, at this point, yes, you can be uh, at 6,000 and above, but still if you're coming at, let's say, 10,000 feet, it will be really difficult to land the plane. You have to have a very high vertical speed. You won't be able to maintain uh, your ground speed. It will be really high and uh, you won't be able to land. So that's why you uh, just uh, want to enter this hold. So let's uh, wait for this point and uh, then I will take you from there. Now the plane is near Isdur and you can see that my altitude is 14,800. And if you look at the progress, you will see that the vertical deviation uh, from the vertical path is 5,200 feet. So I'm 5,200 feet above the given or the planned uh, vertical path. So I can go to this option, flight plan. I can go to ISDR and you can see this option is coming, hold. I can just perform a hold. Right now turn is right, but uh, we have to turn left. So I can change it and insert. As soon as I will insert, you will see uh, the flight plan will change. Now the plane will enter the hold. The speed is about to get reduced further because at ISDO, the speed should not be more than 220 knots. So I'm just applying speed brakes. You can see this pattern is there. So I will remain in the hold, holding pattern till the time my altitude is 6000 because, you know, I just want to exit this hold once I'm sure that the plane is at 6000 feet. 
so that I can just then go and land the plane. Now the speed is con under control. I can retract the speed brakes. And now the descent has also started. Now you will see the plane will turn left. This thing happens, I don't know, it's an error or not, but it goes up to 250, then it goes back to 220. Now the plane is at 8,600 feet and uh, I think by this point, the plane will be able to reach 3,700 feet for the landing. So what I can do is this, I can just retract the speed brakes because, you know, the speed again increased before this turn. And uh, then I can just press this option, immediate exit. So as soon as I press this, the plane will actually exit the hold. And if I want to resume, I can again press this button and the plane will resume the hold. So that's how you perform the hold with this Airbus A320 Neo. If you have got any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. Or if you want to add anything to this video, the comment section is there for you. Thank you very much for staying with me. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.